But let's begin today with live pictures from Washington, where news seems to be coming by the minute. A day full of cabinet hearings, fallout over the travel ban, and that is just the beginning, heading into what will no doubt be a newsmaking night. Good to have you with us here at 5. On top of all that, President Trump plans to reveal his nominee for the Supreme Court just a couple hours from now. So let's get you caught up on what's been another very busy day. First, a Senate committee approved Michigan native Betsy DeVos as the next Education Secretary. The full Senate will now vote to confirm her. Meanwhile, a local organization has filed a federal lawsuit challenging President Trump's travel ban. We'll have more on that in just a few moments. All of that coming as the president set to roll out his Supreme Court pick in prime time. Our coverage kicks off tonight with Tracy Potts in Washington. Hi, Tracy. Devin, good evening from the White House. Remember President Trump promised that he would appoint a justice to the Supreme Court who would uphold conservative values. And both of those judges on a short list could fit that bill. We must work with Meeting with cybersecurity experts at the White House, President Trump teased tonight's big announcement on the Supreme Court. And we'll see you in a little while. We'll be announcing a Supreme Court justice who I think everybody is going to be very, very impressed with. But Washington is reacting to the firing of acting Attorney General Sally Yates. Yates refused to defend Mr. Trump's temporary travel ban and questioned whether restricting travel from majority Muslim countries is legal. For the attorney general to turn around and say, I'm not going to uphold this lawful executive order is clearly a dereliction of duty and she should have been removed and she was. Democrats applaud Yates for standing up to the president. She said she would and she did. I admire her. Yates firing United Democrats today against attorney general nominee Jeff Sessions. He needs to be able to say no to the president. I have no confidence that Senator Sessions will do that. Democrats delayed action on Sessions today. Republicans will try again tomorrow. The question is, is he qualified? We know that he will uphold and enforce all laws equally. Homeland Security today asked if the agency got a full briefing before the travel ban went into effect. Secretary Kelly says he read two drafts. Um, so we knew it was coming. It wasn't a surprise it was coming. Still coming from the White House tonight, President Trump expected to nominate one of these two appeals judges as the next justice on the U.S. Supreme Court. Congressional leaders on both sides of the aisle are invited here tonight to meet the new nominee. Sources tell NBC the Democrats who were invited don't plan to attend. At the White House, I'm Tracy Potts, Local 4. All right, Tracy, and we will bring you President Trump's Supreme Court announcement live at 8 p.m., both on air and online at clickondetroit.com.